Well, this is your devotional for August 17, and we are on our fourth week on this topic of prayer. As you come near the end of James chapter 5, uh, James really leans into that topic of prayer to come close to closing the book and wrapping it up. And this passage is quite interesting, these two verses, James 5, 17 and 18. Uh, listen closely to what it says about Elijah, a person of prayer. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. There was a drought, a serious, serious problem in an area where it happened because it was a place that was dry, desert-like already. No rain was, was a life and death issue. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. I'd encourage you to read that story. He's dealing with Ahab the king, and God is bringing some chastisement on the people, trying to get their attention. And so when Elijah prays, the rain stops. When Elijah prays again, the rain comes. So a couple of thoughts. In the passage, it's clear that that kind of prayer, that powerful kind of prayer, is the power of God and not a special person. Even though Elijah was a prophet, it says Elijah was a human being even as we are. In other words, he's a guy just like you. Uh, the power to stop the rain, the power to start the rain was the power of God. Elijah prayed in a public way so that people could recognize the power of God. Now they got, they got angry at Elijah. And sometimes people get angry at us, but if it's God's hand at work, the focus should be on God. He was like you and me. And I think this is a great reminder that when we pray, we can pray in power. God can do amazing things. And we might say, well, not through me. But God did amazing things through all kinds of people in the Bible who were just ordinary people. The power of God can be unleashed through people like you and people like me. So pray big prayers. Trust God. If God says yes, rejoice. If God says wait, be patient. If God says no, trust that he's sovereign and he's on the throne. Uh, th this mighty work that was happening was in the days of King Ahab, a very, a very evil king. Uh, and, and, and God used Elijah to bring a wake-up call. As he, not only did he pray, but then that lack of rain created tension and conflict, but boy, people were paying attention. Sometimes our prayers may challenge us and challenge other people. Uh, his ministry was not appreciated. Uh, nobody was saying, Elijah, thanks for that prayer uh, for, a, you know, for a drought on the land. Uh, but that was how God led him to pray. And so again, we pray as God leads, not as people prefer. And then just one more thing to notice, that God did something miraculous. When Elijah finally prayed and the rain came, and when it came, that rain came hard. But again, it was pointing to God. May your prayer life, may your passionate seeking the face of God, point people to God and not to you. We use terms for some people like, well, that person's a prayer warrior, and that's wonderful. That means they pray a lot, and they pray with passion, and they pray with effect. That's wonderful. But at the end of the day, answered prayer is the focus, and you know who answers prayer. Not me, not you, God Almighty. So God, teach us to pray. Grow our prayer lives. Give us confidence and boldness. Let us see you do great and amazing things. And God, when you show up, when prayers are answered, may we always point to you and give you the glory. It's not about our prayers. It's about unleashing your power, experiencing your presence, and walking, Lord Jesus, with your spirit. Grow us as people of prayer. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on you. We have services at 9 and 11 coming up at Shoreline Online on campus. We hope you can join us if you're part of another church. Have a great Sunday with God's people in your church. Enjoy the rest of your week.